Well, thanks, Alan. We love DC natives here, Absolutely. and we're talking to a guest who's a native of the area. The Washington Post said our next guest could be the next Einstein, and a national talk show says he's one of the boys who are they're going to change the world, Kristen. Please welcome 10-year-old Global Science Ambassador Romanio Golfin Jr. Welcome. And first, I hear you just turned 10 years old, right? That is correct. All right. Well, happy, happy belated birthday. birthday. You're still showing us up. No matter what, you're in the double digits. So, all right, you are a Global Science Ambassador. So what does that mean? Well, so I've been studying particle physics and organic chemistry for all of my life. And my mission as an ambassador is to share that big science with the next generation of young scientists who may not have had the same access. Wow, so I understand your dad is a scientist. Yes. So really, since you were born, you've been around science. <laughs> yes. And when you say things like organic chemistry and particle, excuse me, I forgot the word. And particle uh, physics. Yeah, particle yeah. physics, that sounds like big science. And you're going to explain something called neutrino oscillation because you just got back yes. from Chicago yes. experimenting with this as a global ambassador? That is correct. So, um, uh, all right, so we were at Fermilab in Chicago. Um, so they, uh, they're run by the U.S. Department of Energy and they recently wrote down an experiment called DUNE, which is the Deep Underground Neutrino Experiment, which is an acronym. DUNE, okay. okay. And uh, so this toy will represent the point I'm about to make. So okay. th this this ball switch is colors. Break it down colors. for us. Know, right? <laughs> yeah. So the ball switch is colors. I don't know why I'm nervous, but go ahead. <laughs> All okay. right, I see. Yep, switches colors. Yes, yeah, so it switches colors, but I think I know why you're nervous. Why? Because you're gonna throw the ball. Because one of the well, yeah, one of you will have to catch it. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Show us your okay. hands. <laughs> the sports the sports person here will take All right, notes. So. Okay. First, let's say I'm from with that in Chicago. This is what the experiment is about, and you are. 800 miles away in western South Dakota, you're the detector. Okay. And um, this ball represents a beam of neutrinos going through a section of the Earth at a close to the speed of light. Oh, and wow. um, And how fast does the speed of light travel? 186,000 miles per second. That's right. Anything in the universe travels faster? No. Okay. <laughs> That's why you're the scientist. <laughs> but, uh, all right, let's change this back to blue because I wanted to land your hand yellow. Okay. Um, Okay, right, so I understand the cool it. thing about this is... Yes, so so when the neutrinos get there, they oscillate, or they change from their three states, electron neutrino, muon neutrino, tau neutrino, all those things. So when I toss this to you, it'll change colors like that. You ready? I'm ready. Catch. Okay, okay. I see, so yeah, it opens it up, and it yes. changes yeah. colors. It, 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 it didn't change color fully, but it doesn't you matter. You start to see it yes. start to change. Yes. And that's going from Chicago to South Dakota. Yes, uh, and guess what? That's, that's as bizarre as you walking your dog down the street, and it turns into a wolf, and then it turns into a hyena, and then back into your dog. That's what neutrinos do, basically, but not mm. literally, of course. Wow, it sounds like a, an episode So it changes as blood. it gets to Herb, <laughs> and then, but then it would change back? No, no, no. It, it, when it goes to her, right. it would change through several states. Like, oh, it goes through the seven skies. And remember, this is billions of a second. Okay, so it's shape shifting. What you're yes. saying is particles in the universe are shape shifting. Yes. So and we you, just thought that was just mystical stuff we saw on TV. <laughs> if you saw, it, if you had a shape shifting dog, or if you saw one, that would be a very strange creature, but definitely something worth studying. That's what Formula is doing. <laughs> okay. But the that big is... science question is: Formula can produce antimatter. Antimatter. Yes. Okay. Uh, what but is that? The, the the matter that's the opposite of matter. So it's, it's okay. exactly the opposite charge, opposite states. Yeah. So. All right. But this one represents antimatter. Antimatter. Okay. The big question is the universe after it's uh, after the universe was created, it should have been it should have uh, equal amounts of matter and antimatter. So, so why don't you go ahead and do, and do that one. one? And as you guys are talking, we just want to say you're inspired by Einstein's theory of relativity. Yes. And this summer, you can go ahead and throw the ball. This summer, you were actually traveling to South America. That is correct. To do some science. That's so cool. What did we just see here? Um, so that represents the neutrino. Oh. <laughs> All right. There you go. Neutrino oscillation. <laughs> We're going to have all the info because Romano <laughs> needs your help, right, to get to uh, South America yes. this year. So we're going to put all that information up on our website because this is a local kid that is changing the You're world. You're from Silver Spring, right? Yes. Way to go. Oh, yeah. handshake. Oh, handshake. Yeah. Okay, oh, we know yeah. high five yeah. signs around here. We'll be back with more right after this. Great job. Yeah.